Hey guys, it's Angela. So today we're going to be continuing It Moves, um, but it's going to be a shorter episode because I've got a lot to do. Um, I, I'm an orientation leader on campus and tomorrow starts uh, the summer orientation sessions for the incoming freshmen. Last time we left off, we were part three factorized or something like that and I'm really actually kind of nervous. Um, I figured out, uh, oh god, oh god. Um, how to run. I actually figured out how to run um, because I actually found the notes um, that I was supposed to read. It said, read me, and I did not read it. A huge skull. That is like, it kind of looks like a giant satyr skull, um, but I'm very nervous. Okay, well, I guess there's only one way out. You know, I really don't trust this. I really don't trust this. Oh no. Were the lights blinking like that last time? Oh my god. It's getting redder and the lights were not blinking like that. Oh god. Little Brian, we can make it through this. We can succeed. I'm getting like more and more nervous as we go. Like there's no, there's a, <laughs> there's no, oh my God. Is he gonna become like, I just like how he just keeps saying it's a huge skull, like not a huge skull with blinking eyeballs or anything. Um, are we gonna become like a satanic uh, sacrifice? Oh my God, this makes me so nervous. I feel that's all I ever say to you guys is, oh God, I'm so nervous. Um, Oh, oh, was not expecting that one. Um, what's going on? Oh, beautiful, love it. Okay. Oh my God, okay, what is this? Okay, so we are in a factory and there's Tons of things. Giant fans. Okay. You're locked. As are you. But it looks like there's something in there. It's blinking. Do I have to press that? Oh my god. Um, ooh, boards. Okay, we can go underneath that. Why are we chained in? I'm... What does this boy watch before he, uh, goes to bed? Because I'm very, very, very confused on it. Oh, there's more blinking stuff. Those are more candles. I feel like, is this, like, um, a continued version of where we were at last time? Or... Okay, so maybe try going. Ooh, blood. Okay, so that changed somewhere's location. What are you? You're just pipes. Okay, so. So far. Oh, hello! No, I'm not talking about the machine, Brian. I'm talking about the blood that says hello. Those kind of look like eyes. I like it. Um, I've been very good at accidentally solving these puzzles lately, so at least in this game I have been. Ooh, nailed it. Found another one. No, Brian, that's not what we're trying to find. Okay, you are not it. Very interesting. Um, this is a very interesting game. I'm, I was talking to a few other people who, um, were commenting on my video, the first version of this, and, you know, I feel like not a lot of people know about this game, and that's kind of a shame because it's really, really fascinating. Um, I don't quite understand a lot of it. <sighs> that guy looked like he had a pumpkin for a head. Oh, how are, I am... 
doing pretty good. How are you? Oh, I thought it was a pumpkin thing. I am doing pretty swell, Mr. Sir with the pumpkin head. I was not expecting uh, him to be there so suddenly. Okay. Um, but yeah, I feel like not a lot of people really understand, or like, um, they can understand. Hi. You have a bag on your head. Why? Well, no, that's where we're supposed to go next, at least, I think. But why do you have a bag on your head? What is this, what is this kid watching before he goes to bed? Seriously, like, this is probably not healthy. Your parents need to better restrict what TV shows you are consuming in your heart. That doesn't make sense. Um, ooh, a creepy mask. We should take that and make it ours. Like Slenderman? Oh no. Ew, don't smile at me. Stop. Oh, that's so gross. Ew. Ew, I don't like how it smiled. That was really disgusting. Am I gonna. No, I'm still. Oh, hey, that's that mask. Oh. Did that like no okay um that was really kind of creepy though um wait we're already here okay go down no okay that's not where we're supposed to go this is this is literally an altar okay um hmm Okay, we're already there for the hello. We already switched that. Am I not smart enough for this? I feel like we've already adventured as far as we can. Oh, I forgot about this place up here. Oh god, it's filling up with water. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I don't trust water. Sir, can I please hang out with you? Oh. Ooh, is this just a lump of dead things? I don't trust that. That's <laughs> is that a, alive now? Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Um, sir, can you... Sir, with the... the why aren't you talking to me? Like, I'm kind of glad that he's not talking to me, but I'm also really kind of nervous. We've been in here. Okay. Um. Okay. There's just so many little, like, whoever made this, they put so many, like, small little details and thoughts into it. Um, which is really, really, really respectable. It's not a red liquid, it's actually blood. I'm assuming, I mean, I'm just making things up. Did we already? Yeah, we already got that, okay. And this isn't really anything real. Lights on a runway. And we've already visited our creepy mask friend. Is this getting darker? Or is it just me making that up in my brain? There we are. Ooh, there it is again, the pentagram. I don't trust it, I don't trust it, I don't trust it, I don't trust it. <gasps> what is going on? Am I sacrificing myself to Satan? Oh my god, I am so confused. It's funny how certain words can remain hidden from your mind no matter how blatant or obvious they are. One word came to me that night lying there in the darkness alone, frightened aware of a rotten change in the atmosphere. 
a thickening of the air as if something had displaced it. As I heard the first casual twists of the bed sheets below, the first anxious increase of my heartbeat at the realization that something was once again in the bottom bunk, that word, a word which had been sent into exile, filtered up through my consciousness, breaking free of all repression, gasping for air, screaming, etching, and carving itself into my mind. Ghost. Sort of like someone died in my house and now their spirit is haunting us? I'm confused. As this thought came to me, I noticed that my unwelcome visitor had ceased moving. The bed- oof, that was gross. The bed sheets lay calm and dormant, but they had been replaced by something far more hideous. A slow, rhythmic, rasping breath heaved and escaped from the thing below. I could imagine its chest rising and falling with each sordid, wheezing, and garbled breath. The vocabulary is fantastic in this. I shuddered and hoped beyond all hope that it would leave without occurrence. The house lay as it had the previous night in a thick blanket of darkness. Silence prevailed, all but for the perverted breath of my as yet unseen bunkmate. I lay there terrified. I just wanted this thing to go to leave me alone. What did it want? Then something unmistakably chilling transpired. It moved. Ooh! It moved in a way different from before. I don't know why I didn't expect that to be a thing, um, because it's literally called It Moves, but that just, like, again made my leg hair grow. When it threw itself around in the bottom bunk, it seemed unrestrained, without purpose, almost animalistic. For that thing lying there in the darkness, that thing which seemed intent on terrorizing a young boy, calmly and nonchalantly sat up. Oh my god, the, um, my spine literally, just like, I felt a chill running up it. Oh. Its labored breathing had become louder. Now, only a mattress and a few flimsy wooden slits. Sl <laughs> now... <laughs> Rewind, pause. I didn't stumble over that word. Now only a mattress and a few flimsy wooden slats separated my body from the unearthly breath below. I lay there, my eyes filled with tears, a fear which mere words cannot relate to you or anyone else course through my veins. Why won't Brian call for his mom again? Oh my god, he's crying. Look at little Brian crying. I'm so sorry. Oh, little Brian. I would not believe that this fear could have been heightened, but I was so wrong. I imagined what this thing would look like sitting there listening from below my mattress, hoping to catch the slightest hint that I was awake. Imagination then turned to an unnerving reality. It began to touch the wooden slats which my mattress sat on. You know, I had a bunk bed growing up, and I had the bottom bunk, and this just makes me question everything about that decision. It seemed to caress them carefully, running what I imagined to be fingers and hands across the surface of the wood. I, I'm imagining claws and talons, and then with great force it prodded ang angrily between the two slats into the mattress. Even through the padding I felt as though someone had viciously stuck their fingers into my side. I let out an almighty cry and the wheezing, shaking, and moving thing in the bunk below replied in kind by violently vibrating the bunk as it, done, as it had done the night before. Small flakes of paint powdered onto my blanket from the wall as the frame on the bed scraped along it backwards and forwards. Once again I was bathed in light, and there stood my mother, loving, caring, as she always was, with a comforting hug and calming words which eventually subdued my hysteria. Mama, you got me, girl. Of course she asked what was wrong, but I could not say, I dared not say, I simply said one word over and over and over and over again. Is it ghost? Nope. Nightmare. This pattern of events continued for weeks, if not months. Night after night, I would awaken to the sound of rustling sheets each time I would scream so as to not provide this abomination with time to prod and feel for me. With each cry, the bed would shake violently, stopping with the arrival of my mother, who would spend the rest of the night in the bottom bunk, seemingly unaware of the sinister force torturing her son nightly. Along the way, I managed to feign illness a few times and come up with other less. P Along the way, I managed to feign illness a few times and come up with other less than truthful reasons for sleeping in my parents' bed. But more often than not, I would be alone for the first few hours of each night in that place, the room where the light from outside did not sit right alone with that thing. 
with the time you can become death. I don't know why I can't read today. Pardon me. With time, you can become desensitized to almost anything, no matter how horrific. I'd come to realize that, for whatever reason, this thing could not harm me when my mother was present. Ooh, she was doused in holy water, boy. We need to douse you in holy water, too. I'm sure the same would have been said for my father, but as loving as he was, waking him from sleep was almost impossible. Yeah, I noticed that last episode, Brian. He would not wake up. Waking me, on the other hand, was no trouble at all. Trouble at all, thanks to the nightmares. Must have been chapter four, anger overload. That does not sound promising, but on that note, um, I'm going to have to say goodbye to you guys. It's six o'clock. It's time for me to go get dinner. And ooh, what a beautiful location we will be we will be viewing in next. Um, but I will see you guys soon um, next week. Um, so yeah, I don't know, but um, that's all for this week. So don't forget to comment below. The screen did something really weird. I oh, know I'm not making that up. Okay, so don't forget to comment below if you enjoyed it. Did it again. This is very distracting. Okay. Don't forget to comment below if you enjoyed this video. Um, give me a thumbs up. Also, a uh, subscribe if you're into that type of thing. If not, whatever. And um, if you subscribe, I'll like shave off a chunk of my leg hair that grew during this video and mail it to you. No, I won't. That's really weird. But, um,. Yeah, that's all I've got for you for this week, so I will see you next week. Don't forget to check out my vlog, um, or I'll see you on Thursday, because this is my Tuesday video, dirt. Um, so I will see you whenever, and don't forget to check out my um, preview guide, orientation guide, leader, person, vlog on my other channel, which again will be um, put somewhere around in here, and I will see you some other time. So, until then, bye!